Hey folks, Nitno here. Today I wanted to quickly go over some keybinds and maneuvers in DayZ that you should know and some keybinds that you might want to change. There are a lot of buttons in DayZ when you really dive into the possibilities. In case it wasn't apparent, sorry console friends, this video is for PC keybinds, but you still might learn a thing or two from some of the tricks I'll be discussing. If you ever want to catch me live, hop over to my Twitch and say hello. First off, we have leaning with Q and E. I personally stick with the default controls here, and in order to strafe, I sort of roll my fingers on A and D. This works for me, but what some other players do is they swap the Q and E so that Q leans right and E leans left. It sounds kind of weird, but for them, it's easier to peek because you don't have to roll your fingers as much. Then you have what I imagine is actually probably one of the better ways to lean, is to bind lean to your two mouse buttons on the side of your mouse if you have them. For me again, I stick to Q and E, so that way I'm free to bind my mouse buttons to other things. Zeroing your weapon has the default keys of page up and page down. This works for me. I don't often have to adjust my zeroing, but when I do, I'm usually in a spot where I can take my time. But I do understand quite a few other players change this bind to something else. And if you're not sure what zeroing is, basically it's adjusting for a bullet drop, so that way you can hit your target more accurately. Next up is free look, which by default is left alt. While this does work for many by simply using your thumb to hold it down, I choose to switch this keybind and bind free look to one of the buttons on the side of my mouse. It's all personal preference, but you want to put free look on a button that you can easily click while moving. Daisy is largely about situational awareness and being able to freely look around you will help you spot enemies a lot easier. Holding your breath will steady your aim and allow you to snipe a lot easier. By default, this is left control. I personally change hold breath to shift. Therefore, yes, both my sprint and hold breath are on shift. But you will only actually hold your breath if you're aiming down a sight, which obviously you cannot sprint while you're aiming down sight. I just find that it's more comfortable to hold shift than it is the control button. Also, when I unscope, my finger is already on the sprint key, shift, so I can move quickly if needed. Again, personal preference. When aiming down sight, you can press the F key to perform a melee attack with your weapon. This is highly effective in defending yourself against a player ambushing you with a melee weapon while you have your gun out. Give them a couple of whacks with the gun by pressing F, it will force their character to back up a little bit, and you can line up a shot and blast them away. Speaking of melee, there are actually three types of melee attacks you can do with your fists and other melee weapons. The normal attack, by raising your fist and left clicking. A heavy attack can be formed by holding shift while you attack, but you'll need enough stamina. There is a lesser known running heavy attack that can be performed by getting a running start and the left clicking. You'll need to sprint for about five steps and then left click to perform this attack. It will hit players with a longer range attack and even damage them if they're blocking. It's one of the strangest things to me even if you Google how to do the running power attack or running heavy attack, just about nothing comes up. It's like a hidden attack that only Daisy players that have been around the block a while know about master the running power attack and become a melee champion. In your inventory, you can rotate items with the spacebar, but you can also take items out of your bag by holding control and clicking. Similar to that, you can place items in your bag quickly by double clicking the item on the ground. Just keep in mind, this places the item in the first open space on the top of your inventory. I often choose to drag my items into my bag manually, so that way I can place them and better organize my bag. But for instance, if you just get a kill and you want to loot them quickly, I'll often just spam double click on the items and get them off the body ASAP and then sort them later. There are a few ways to reload. You can put the mag in your hands and hold R. As long as you have compatible ammo in your inventory, it will load the mag. Another way is to drag ammo onto your hotbar. This is helpful when you have, say, both 
buckshot, and slugs in your inventory. You can then simply have the shotgun equipped in your hands and then press the hotkey with either the buckshot or slugs in it and then it will load your desired ammo type. Some more default keys that are good to know for new players is that you can turn head torches on and off with L. You can use gestures to communicate by pressing F1 through 10 keys. Waving is a great way to show that you're friendly, so get used to pressing F1. You might not want to have to use this key, but you should know that F5 will put your hands up and surrender. If you have your hands up with F5, a player can then access your inventory. For example, if a player ever completely catches you off your guard, and then they tell you you'll live if you put your hands up, know how to F5. It might actually save your life. Alright, for more tips, blast the video on the left. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Follow me on Twitch to catch me live. Thank you and have an awesome day. Peace.